Malaria is one of the world's greatest health threats, a parasitic infection carried by mosquitoes. Approval of the malaria vaccine by regulators is a milestone in public health. The drug giant GlaxoSmithKline began working on the vaccine in 1984 and has pledged it will not make a profit from sales. This is a hugely significant moment because this is the very first vaccine that's ever been developed against malaria, against a parasite, and it's shown very significant impact in the, uh, in the studies that we've done to date. I've been working on this for 30 years and this is a dream come true. But, and it's a big but, the malaria vaccine does not work as well as scientists hoped. Trials in seven African countries show it reduces cases of severe malaria in young children by just a third, and then only if they receive four doses of the jab. Ensuring that happens will be a major logistical problem in countries with very limited health services. And it doesn't work well in young babies, so it's not the solution to combating malaria. A bed net is more effective than this vaccine. So this is not a magic bullet, having this low efficacy vaccine available for the first time, but it is a very substantial scientific achievement and one that has been a long time coming because this has been a very difficult field. But how important it will be in real public health terms in controlling malaria remains to be seen. It will now be up to the World Health Organization to decide whether to recommend the vaccine's use in Africa. Even a partially effective malaria vaccine could have a significant impact in African countries with the highest rates of the disease, preventing many more children from falling ill and being hospitalised. Mosquito nets and insecticides will remain the main protection against malaria, but more effective vaccines are likely to come on stream in the future.